take a look at these condensing units. We have here our first one. Let's take a look at it first. Let's see. Oh, all right, here we go. It has a looks like a probably a Copeland semi-hermetic compressor in there. Okay. And of course, that noise you hear that's the noise, well, of the condensing unit, the compressor itself. And here we go. Let's take a look at this one. Now, uh, listen to this loud beast. And, and not very energy efficient, but it does the job. Got a Copeland semi hermetic in it. Nothing really wrong with it, it's just a bit loud and probably not as energy efficient as this one. Now let's take a look at this Emerson condensing unit. It does look very, very much like it would be for, say, a ductless mini split, but it's actually for walk in coolers or Freezers. Hello, my viewers. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Emerson XJ Series condensing units for low temperature and medium temperature applications. And what we have here is a five horse power system. And what you hear right now is not the system, it's actually the system over here next to me, right there. Not this one. Actually, this one is whispered quiet. You can't even hear it. The refrigerant in this system is 404A. Now let's take a look at the data plate on this. It's an Emerson XJ series, which is for uh, walk-in coolers or refrigerators. And let's see, oh, an L. So that means that it's actually for a freezer. So or low temperature. That's what it exactly what it means and it's a five horse system so it really covers a pretty good size freezer. Uh, I'm standing in front of a freezer box right now. Look at this freezer right here. Right, let's walk inside. This way. Okay now we're walking in this freezer. Oh, it's cold. This evaporator right there, that two fan evaporator, is actually the evaporator for the condensing unit that I showed you outside. Alright, let's take a look at the components on this condensing unit. You have here your Copeland scroll compressor. And of course your liquid line filter dryer. And this is a accumulator, oil separator. There's a contactor right there. And there's your control board. And this is the low pressure control right here. Here's the defrost timer. And this is the little board right here there for troubleshooting the system. Uh, and what's really nice about this too is Emerson does have some great tech support on their website for troubleshooting these condensing units, these XJ series. Believe it or not, the size of this unit, the actual length, width, di diameter, whatever, it's, it's all smaller than the older system that used to sit here. You can see that where the older system sat. Sort of see the old, you might say, footprint of the old system. So it's much, much smaller. These systems can be mounted on the, on the ground or they can actually be mounted on a wall. And it looks like the condensing coil here is coated with 
something to protect it from the elements. This condensing unit has been sitting out in the elements now for about two years and it looks pretty good. If I weren't told that, I would have thought it was brand new. Okay, now here we have a real nice wiring diagram that's on the cover, the back of the cover. And here's the diagnostic codes that you would use for troubleshooting this system uh, using this board right here. So, and still, if you have problems troubleshooting these systems, uh, Copeland has a, an excellent website to help you troubleshoot it further. And of course, uh, there's still the, the old telephone tech support if you need to have it.